You can also call Python functions from an Excel macro, which for instance allows you to trigger the function directly from a button on your sheet, like this. This here is a typical example where we use Python to execute a computationally intensive task of performing a Monte Carlo simulation. It's not only easier to write the code in Python compared to VBA, but the performance is also a lot better because we can use efficient libraries like NumPy in this example here. So how does this all work? Let's have a look at the VBA editor. First of all, you need to have the Excelovings VBA module present in your spreadsheet, as you can see here. This then allows you to use the run Python function in your own code like this, where you can import and run Python functions. Switching sides to the respective Python code, you can get a reference to the calling workbook by simply using book.caller that allows you to read and write values from the book you're making the calls, down here to read and down here to write. Now, the interesting part about all this is that it makes a very good prototype for what might later turn into a fully fledged web app. If you separate the Excelwings part from the business logic, as we do here, by putting the actual simulation in a own module, then you can easily call the very same code from a web app, like this here. And again, we're using the Plotly library to get some interactive uh, element here on the chart module. Now, when I go back and change the price process of the simulation here, then this is instantly reflected in both front ends. 